So I just want to chat to you today about summer alpine mountaineering boots. Now, I've got a range of, of summer alpine mountaineering boots here, but this is only part of the picture. Okay, these are what we call B2 boots. Um, classically, you have B1 boots, are a very flexible boot, and I'd you know, advise those for sort of trail walking, etc. But if you're looking for a boot that takes a stepping cramp on, that you can use for glacial travel, scrambling around on mixed terrain, scrambling on rocky ridges and climbing little rock steps, then you really need a sort of B2 boot as a sort of minimum. So you've got a boot here that is, is reasonably stiff, um, it's got a, a medium level of warmth there and support, and it's also got a, a heel well here that the crampon sits into. Um, so this is the sort of Sportiva Trango Tower. We've also got the Scarpa Charmoz, and you can see again it's a, a sort of modern design similar to the Sportiva. It's got this heel welt on the back, the crampon just cups and fits over that sort of toe box there. You know, modern materials, it's nice and lightweight with a sort of medium level of warmth there. Um, again, Scarpa has got um, the Manta. It's a little bit of a heavier boot, but I think you get a little bit more warmth from this. Uh, again, it's got a, a heel welt there that the crampon fits onto. But all of three of these boots here are great for sort of summer alpine mountaineering. Um, you know, uh, and a great boot for, for that. But if you come down to the Alps and you're looking at objectives that are maybe 4,000 meter plus objectives, um, you're looking at more technical terrain where, you know, you're on snow and ice a lot more, you may be front pointing a lot more, you might be needing a, a stiffer and warmer boot. So you might be looking at maybe a B3 boot such as this sort of Nepal Extreme from Sportiva. Um, it is a heavier weight boot, but what this boot does give you is a lot more stiffness in the sole, so you can front point more comfortably with these boots on. The upper is a lot warmer, it gives you more ankle support. Um, so, you know, if you are up high for any length of time, these boots are gonna be a lot warmer, they're gonna be more comfortable. So apart from the sort of more technical, higher 4,000 meter peaks, you might also consider these boots if you're gonna go and climb Mont Blanc, where again, you're at a high altitude for longer and you need that added warmth that maybe you'd get from this style of boot than you maybe wouldn't get from maybe a B2 boot. So, you know, B3 boots have their place in the summer. The downside with these boots is that when you are walking into many of the huts in the summer, you know, they're a lot stiffer, they're not as comfy to walk in, and obviously they're gonna be a lot warmer. But certainly above the hut, you know, and when you are in the snow at a higher altitude for longer, front pointing and cramp on in a more technical terrain, you know, or maybe at a higher altitude like Mont Blanc for longer, these boots are gonna perform very well, keeping your feet nice and warm, you know, and move well over that sort of technical terrain. But having said that, if you're going up to 4,000 meters on, on moderate terrain, or you're staying around the altitude or even lower in the summertime, you know, these B2 boots perform very, very well. They're lighter weight, they're more comfortable to wear, and they're a little bit more flexible in the sole. So there's definitely a place for B2 boots, but also let's not forget, you know, the place that B3 boots have in the summer, in the Alps as well, but maybe when you're at a higher altitude for longer, and maybe on that more technical mixed terrain. But there's also many different activities within summer alpine mountaineering. We talked about classic alpine mountaineering, um, where your B2 boot has its place, your, your more technical mixed terrain at a higher altitude, or maybe Mont Blanc, where you want a warmer and stiffer boot, you know, such as your B3 boot. Um, but if you, maybe you've got an objective such as, you know, the Horny Ridge of the Matterhorn, which is, you know, mainly rock scrambling and, and rock climbing, there's no glacial approach, um, but there may be snow above the shoulder up towards the summit. You know, you might think of a, a boot such as the sort of Scarpa Rebel. And this is a B2 boot as well, but I think it's just a little bit more flexible. It's a bit lighter weight. And I can really see this boot work well on that sort of terrain where you're in crampons for, for less time during any day. There's, there's, there's not much glacial travel, but they also still fit a, a stepping crampon. So, you know, the Rebel is great for for that kind of alpine mountaineering. So, you know, hopefully it gives you a little bit of a feel for some different boots for different aspects around sort of alpine mountaineering.